Ulysses by James Joyce, section 18b. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. He was looking, looking at me. me. I had that white I blouse, that white blouse on. On. open in the front to encourage me as much as I could without too, too open. Too open. Too open. They, they were just beginning to be plump. Be plump. I, I said I was tired. tired. We, we lay over the fir tree coat. Wild place. wild place. I suppose it must be the highest rock in existence. With the galleries and casements of those frightful rocks in St. Michael's Cave, with the icicles or whatever they call them hanging down, down, and ladders, ladders, all the mud, mud punch my boots. I'm sure that's the way down. The monkeys go under the sea to Africa when they die. The ship's out far like chips. That was the Malta boat passing. Yes, the sea and the sky. You could do what you liked. Lie there forever. You caress them out. Side. They love doing that. It's the, round it's the roundness there. there. I, was I was leaning over him with my white rice straw hat to take the newness out of it. The left side of my face the best. My blouse open for his last day. Transparent, the kind of shirt he had. I could see his chest pink. pink. He wanted, he wanted to, to touch mine. He wanted to touch mine, mine. but I wouldn't let him. I wouldn't let him. He was awfully put out first for fear you never know consumption of leaving the child in Barajada. That old servant, that old servant Inez, told me that one drop, even if got into you at all, after I tried the banana, but I was afraid it might break and get lost up in the sun somewhere. Because they once took something down out of a woman that was up there for years covered with lime salt. They're all mad to get in there. Where they they come, come out, out of. of. You'd think you they think could never they go never far enough, enough up. up. And then they're, and done, they're with done with you in a way. Till the next time. time. Yes, yes, because, yes, because there's, there's a wonderful there's feeling. They're so tender all the time. How did, How did we, we finish, finish it off? It off? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. yes. I pulled him off into my hands. I pulled him off into my handkerchief, pretending not to be excited, but I opened my legs. I wouldn't let him touch me inside my petticoat because I had a skirt opening up the side. I wanted some life out of him. I first tormented the life out of him. First I love rousing that dog in the hotel. I love rousing that dog in the hotel. His eyes shut. His eyes shut and a bird flying below us. He was shy all the same. I liked him like that, moaning. I made him blush a little when I got over him that way. And I unbuttoned him and took his out and drew back the skin. It had a kind of eye in it. They're all buttons, men, down the middle, on the wrong side of them. Molly, darling, he called me. What was his name? Was it Jack, Joe, Harry, Molly, was it? Yes, I think. A lieutenant. Lieutenant. He was rather fair. In a laughing kind of voice, so I went round to the... What do, you, what, do you call was, what do you call it? Was, what everything was. He, what do you call it? He said he'd come back. Mustache. He said he'd come back. Lord, it's just like yesterday to me. And if I was married, he'd do it to me. And I promised him, yes, faithfully, I'd let him block me. Now flying. Perhaps he's dead, or killed, or a captain, or admiral. It's nearly 20 years. If I said fur tree coat, he would. If he came up behind me and put his hands over my eyes to guess who, I might recognize him. He's young still, about 40. Perhaps he's married some girl in the black water and is quite changed. They all do. They, all do. they haven't half the character a woman has. She little knows what I did with her beloved husband before he ever dreamt of her. In broad daylight, too. In the sight of the whole world, you might say. They could have put an article about it in the Chronicle. I was a bit wild. I was a bit wild when I blew up the old bag where the skits were in for the night. Lord, all the woods pigeons coming back the same way, the same way back to went over Middle Hill round by the old guard house and the Jews' burial place, pretending to read out the Hebrew on them. I wanted to fire his pistol. He said he had one. He didn't know what to make of me, with his peak cap on that he always wore crooked as often as I settled it straight. HMS Calypso, swinging my hat. That old bishop that spoke off the altar, his long preach about women's higher functions, about girls now riding the bicycle and wearing peak caps. God sent him sense and meanwhile. God sent him sense and meanwhile. I suppose more money. I suppose they're called after him. I never, I never thought, thought that would be my name, Bloom. Bloom. When, when I used to write in print to see how it looked on a visiting card, 
or practicing for the butcher and oblige. M. Bloom, M. Bloom you're, looking blooming. you're looking blooming, Joseph used to say after I married him. Well, it's better than Breen or Briggs does Briggs, or those awful names with bottom in them. Mrs. Ramsbottom, or some other kind of bottom. Mulvey, I wouldn't go mad about either. Or suppose I divorced him. Mrs. Boylan, my mother, whoever she was, might have given me a nicer name. Lord knows, after the lovely one she had, Lunita Laredo. The fun we had running along the Willis Road, like twisting in and out all around the other side of the Jersey Shore. They were shaking and dancing about in my blouse, like Millie's little ones now when she runs up the stairs. I loved looking down at them. I was jumping up at the pepper trees and the white poplars, pulling the leaves off and throwing them at him. He went to India. He was to write. The voyages those men have to make to the ends of the world and back. It's the least they might get a squeeze or two at a woman while they can, going out to be drowned or blown up somewhere. I went up Windmill Hill to the flats that Sunday morning with Captain Rubius. That was dead spyglass like the sense that he had. He said he'd have one or two from on board. I wore that frock and the B. Marche Paris and the coral necklace, the straits shining. I could see over to Morocco, almost the Bay of the Tangier. White. And the, and the Atlas Mountain with snow on it, and the straits like a river so clear. Harry, Molly, darling. I was thinking of him on the sea all the time after at mass when my petticoat began to slip down at the elevation. Weeks and weeks I kept the handkerchief under my pillow for the smell of him. There was no decent perfume to be got in that Gibraltar, only that cheap peau de Spagna that faded and left a stink on you more than anything else. I wanted to give him a memento. He gave me that clumsy clatterbang for luck, but I gave Gardner going to South Africa where those boars killed him with their war and their fever. But they were well beaten all the same, as if it brought its bad luck with it, like an opal or pearl. Still, it must have been pure 18 karat gold because it was very heavy. But what could you get in a place like that? The sand frog shower from Africa and that derelict ship that came up to the harbor. Marie. The Marie, what do you call it? No, he hadn't a mustache then. Yes, I can see his face clean shaven. Freeze! That train again weeping tone. Once in the dear dead days beyond recall. Close my eyes, breathe, my lips forward, kiss, sad look, eyes open, piano, air o'er the world the mist began. Or the world I hate that it's big. I hate that it's big. Comes love sweet song. I'll let that out full when I get in front of the footlights again. Kathleen Carney and her love squealers. Miss this, miss that, miss the other. A lot of a lot sparrow, of sparrow getting around talking about, about politics. Talking, talking about, about politics. politics. They, know they know as much about as my backside. backside. So Anything, Anything in the world, world to make themselves some way interesting. interesting. Irish, Irish homemade Irish. beauties. Soldier's daughter, am I, I. And whose are you? Bootmakers and publicans. I beg your pardon, coach. I thought you were a wheelbarrow. They'd die, they'd die down, 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 dead down off their feet, feet if ever they got a chance of walking down the Alameda on an officer's arm like me on the band night. My eyes flash. My bust that they haven't passed. God help their poor head. I knew more about men and life when I was 15 than they'll all know at 50. They don't know how to sing a song like that. Gardner said no man could look at my mouth and teeth smiling like that and not think of it. I was afraid he might not like my accent first. He's so English. All father left me in spite of his stance. I have my mother's eyes, I have my mother's figure eyes and figure anyhow. He always said they're so he snotty said, about themselves, so snotty some of those cads. He wasn't a bit like that. He was dead gone on my lips. Let them get a husband first that's fit to be looked at and a daughter like mine. Or see if they can excite a swell with money that can pick and choose whoever he wants, like Boylan. To do it four or five times locked in each other's arms. To do it four or five times locked in each other's arms. Or the voice either. I could have been a prima donna. Only I married him. Comes love, old deep down. Chin back, not too much. Make it double. My lady's bower is too long for an encore. About the moated grange at twilight in vaunted rooms. 
Yes, I'll sing Winds That Blow From The South that he gave after the choir stairs performance. I'll change that lace on my black dress to show off short my bounce. And I'll, yes, by God, I'll get that big band mended, make them burst with envy. My whole is itching me always when I think of him. I feel I want to. I feel some wind in me. Better go easy, not wake him. Pack him at it again, slobbering. After washing every bit of myself, back belly and sides. If we even had a bath itself, or my own room, anyway. If we even had a bath, he'd sleep himself, in some bed by himself. His cold feet on me, he'd give us room even to let a fart. God, or do the least thing better. Yes, hold them like that a bit on my side. Piano quietly. There's that train far away. Pianissimo. E. One more song. That was a relief. Wherever you be, let your wind go free. Who knows if that pork chop I took with my cup of tea after was quite good. With the heat, I couldn't smell anything off it. I'm sure that queer-looking man in the pork butchers is a great rogue. I hope that lamp is not smoking. Fill my nose up with smuts. Better than having him leaving the gas on all night. I couldn't rest easy in my bed in Gibraltar, even getting up to sea. Why am I so damn nervous about that, though? I like, I like it in the winter. It's more company. Oh, Lord, it was rotten cold, too, that winter when I was only about ten, was I? Yes, yes. I had the big, had the big doll with all the funny, all the funny clothes, clothes, dressing her up and undressing, undressing. That icy wind skeeting across from those mountains to something Nevada. Sierra Nevada. Standing at the fire with a little bit of a short shift, I had up to heat myself. I love dancing. I love dancing. Then make a race back. Make a race back. I'm sure that fellow opposite used to be there the whole time watching the lights out in the summer. And I in my skin hopping around. I used to love myself then, stripped at the washstand, dabbing and creaming only when it came to the chamber performance. I put out the light too. So then there were two of us. Then there were two of us. Goodbye to my sleep for this night and I'm not going to get him. 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 I'm not going to get
Again. And then it came, came on, on to get rough, rough. the old thing crookeding about and my weight all down my side. Telling me to pull the right rings, now pull the left, and the tide all swamping in floods and through the bottom. And his oar slipping out of the stirring. It's a mercy when we weren't around. He can swim, of course. Me? No. No danger whatsoever. Keep yourself calm. Keep yourself calm. trousers. I'd like to have tattered them down off him before all the people and give him what that one calls flagellate till he was black and blue. Do him all the good in the world. Only for that long-nosed chap. I don't know who he is. But that other beauty, Burke, out of the City Arms Hotel was there, spying around as usual on the slip, always where he wasn't wanted. There was a row on you would vomit a better face. There was no love lost between us. That's one consolation. I wonder what kind is that book that brought me. Sweets of Sin by a Gentleman of Fashion. Fashion. Some other Mr. Dickens. I suppose the people, I suppose gave, him the people nickname, gave him that nickname going about with his tube from one woman to another. I couldn't even change my new white shoes, all ruined with the salt water. And the hat I had with that feather, a blowy, blowy and tossed, blowy tossed on me. How annoying and provoking. It is the smell of the sea excited me, of course. The sardines and the brain. They were fine, all they were silver in the fisherman's silver. basket. Old Luigi, near a hundred, they said, came from Genoa. And the tall old chap with the earrings, I don't like the man you have to climb up to get at. I suppose they're all dead and rotten long ago. Besides, I don't like being alone in this big barracks of a place at night. I suppose I'll have to put up with it. I never brought a bit of salt even when we moved in the confusion. Musical Academy he was going to make on the first floor drawing room with the brass plate, or Bloom's private hotel, he suggested. Go and ruin himself altogether the way his father did down in Ennis. Like all the things he told father he was going to do, and me. But I saw through him, telling me all the lovely places we could go for the honeymoon. Venice by moonlight, with the, the, moon light, with the gondolas and the lake he of Como. Out, he had a picture cut out of some paper. And mandolins and lanterns. Oh, how nice, I said. Whatever I liked, he was going to do immediately, if not sooner. Will you be my man? Will you carry my can? He ought to get a leather medal with a putty rim for all the plans he invents, then leaving us here all day. You'd never, You'd never know what old beggar at the door for a crust with his long story might be a tramp and put his foot in the way to prevent me shutting it. Like that picture of that hardened criminal he was called in Lloyd's Weekly News. 20 years in jail, then he comes out and murders an old woman for her money. Imagine his poor wife or mother, whoever she is. Such a face you'd run miles away from. Miles away from. I couldn't rest easy until I bolted all the doors and windows to make sure. But it's worse again being locked up like in a prison. Or they ought to all be shot with a cat of nine tails. A big brute like that would attack a poor old woman and murder her in her bed. I'd cut them off him so I would. I'd cut them off him so I would. Still better than Now that he'd be much use. Still better than nothing in the night. I was sure I was sure I heard burglars in the kitchen. And he went down in his shirt with a candle and a poker as if he was looking for a mouse. As white as a sheep, frightened out of his wits, making as much noise as he possibly could for the burglar's benefit. There isn't, there isn't much to steal, indeed, the Lord knows. Still, it's the feeling, especially now with Millie away. Such an idea for him to send the girl down and learn to take photographs on account of his grandfather. Instead of sending her to Scary's Academy, where she'd have to learn. Not like me getting all ones in school. Only he'd do a thing like that all the same on account of me and Boylan. That's why he did it, I'm certain. The way he plots and plans everything out. I couldn't turn around with her in the place lately unless I bolted the door first. Give me the fidgets coming in without knocking first. When I put the chair against the door, just as I was washing myself there below the glove. Get on your nerves. Then doing the love lady all day. Put her in a glass case with two at a time to look at her. If he knew, if she, if he knew she broke off a hand off that little Jim Crack statue, statue with her roughness, roughness, roughness and carelessness before she left, she left. But I got that, that little Italian boy to mend so that he can't see the joint. Two shillings. shillings. Wouldn't even team with potatoes for you. Potatoes for you. Of course, she's right not to right on her hands. I noticed, he was, I noticed he was always talking to her lately at the table, explaining, explaining things in the paper, and she pretending to understand. Sly, of course. That comes from this side of the house. He can't say I pretend things, can he? 
I'm too honest, as a matter of fact, in helping her into her coat. But if there was anything wrong with her, it's me, she'd tell not him. I suppose he thinks I'm finished out and laid on the shelf. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm not. No, nor anything like it. We'll see. We'll see now. She's well on for flirting, too, with Tom Devon's two sons, imitating me whistling, with those romps of Murray girls calling for her. Can Millie come out, please? She's in great demand. Out of her round in Nelson Street, riding Harry Devon's bicycle at night. It's as well he sent her where she is. She was just getting out of bounds, wanting to go on the skating rink and smoking their cigarettes through their nose. I smelt it off her dress when I was biting off the thread of the button I sewed onto the bottom of her jacket. jacket. She couldn't hide couldn't much hide from much me, from I, me tell I tell you. you. Only I ought to have stitched it. Stitched it. And, and it's on her, it brings it apart. And, and, and the last plum pudding, too, split in two halves. See, it comes out no comes matter, out no matter what, what they say. Her tongue is a bit too long for my taste. Your blouse is open too low. She says to me, the pan calling the kettle black bottom. And I had to tell her not to cock her legs up like that on show on the windowsill before all the people passing. They all, they all, they all look at her like me when, when I was her age. Of course, of course any old way looks well on you, man. A great, a great touch me not too, in her own way. At the only way in the theater royale. Take your foot away out of that. Keep people touching me. Afraid of her life, I'd crush her skirt with the pleats. A lot of that touching must go on in theaters. In the crush, in the dark, I always try to That fellow in the pit at the gate for beer bomb trilby. That fellow in the pit at the gate for beer bomb trilby. To be squashed last time I'll ever, ever go there. there. To be squashed like, like that for any trilby or her bare bum every two minutes, tipping me there and looking away. He's a bit, He's a bit daft. daft. I think I, I saw think him after, after trying, trying to get, to get near, near two stylish dressed ladies outside Switzer's window. At the same, same little game. game. I recognized him on the moment, the face and everything. But he didn't but remember, he me. remember me. Yes. yes, and she didn't even want me to kiss her at the broad stone going away. Well, I hope she'll get someone to dance. I hope she'll get someone to dance. Attendance on her the way I did when she was down with the mumps and her glands swollen. Of course she can't feel anything deep yet. Of course she can't feel anything deep yet. I never came properly till I was, what, 22 or so? I went into the wrong place always. Place always. Only the usual, Only the usual girl's, girl's nonsense, nonsense and giggling. That Connie Connolly writing to her in white ink on black, ink on black paper, paper sealed with sealing wax. So she clapped when the curtain came down because he looked so handsome. Then we had Martin breakfast dinner and supper. I thought to myself afterwards, it must be real love if a man gives up his life for her that way for nothing. I suppose there are I suppose there are a few men like that left. It's hard to believe in it, though, unless it really happened to me. The majority of them with not a particle of love in their natures. To find two people like that nowadays full up of each other that would feel the same way as you do. They're usually a bit foolish, They're usually a bit foolish in the head. His father must have been a bit queer to go and poison himself after her. Still, still poor old man. man. I suppose he felt lost. She's always making love to my things, too. The few old rags I have. Wanting to put her hair up at 15, my powder too, only ruin her skin on her. She's time enough for that. She's time enough for that, all her life after. Of course she's restless and pretty, with her lips so red. A pity they won't stay that way. I was too, but there's no use going to the fair with anything. Answering me like a fishwoman when I asked to go for a half a stone of potato. The day we met Mrs. Joe Gallagher at the trotting mashers, and she pretended not to see us in her trap of friary the solicitor. We weren't grand, grand enough until we I gave her two damn fine, cracks, two damn fine, fine cracks across the ear for Take that now for Take that now for answering me like that. that. And, and that and for your impudence. Your impudence. She had me that exasperated. Of course, of course contradicting. I was, I was bad tempered too because how was it there was a weed in the tea or I didn't sleep the night before? Didn't sleep the night before. Cheese I ate, was it? And I told her over and over again not to leave knives crossed like Because she has nobody under her. She said herself. Well, if he doesn't come Director, I think I will. That was the last time. That was the last time she turned on the tear tap. I was just like that myself. They daren't order me about the place. It's his fault. It's his fault, of course, having the two of us slaving instead of getting in a woman long ago. Am I ever going to have a proper servant again? Of course. Of course. Then she'd see him coming. I'd have to let her know, or she'd revenge it. I see a nuisance. That old Mrs. Fleming. You have to be walking around after her, putting the things into her hands, sneezing and farting into the pots.
Well, of course, well, of course, course she's, she's old. She can't, she can't help, help it. it. Good job. Good job. I, found I found that rotten old smelly dishcloth that got lost behind the dresser. I knew there was something. And opened the area window to let out the smell, bringing in his friends to entertain them. Like the night he walked home with a dog. If, if you please, please, that might have been mad. Especially Simon Fatal's son. His father, such a criticizer with his glasses up with his tall hat on him. At the cricket match and a great big hole in his side. One thing laughing at the other. And his son that got all those prizes for whatever he won them in the intermediate. Imagine climbing over the railings. If anybody saw him that knew us, I wonder if he didn't tear a big hole in his grand funeral trousers. As if, As if the one nature, nature gave wasn't, wasn't enough for anybody. Hawking, Hawking him down into the dirty old kitchen. Right now, his head, right I asked. Right head Pity it wasn't washing day. Was washing day. My old pair of drawers might have been hanging up two on the line on exhibition for all he'd ever care. With the iron mold mark, with the iron mold mark burned on him, he might think burned on him. He might think was something else. And she never even rendered down the fat, I told her. And now she's going such as she was on account of her paralyzed husband getting worse. Paralyzed husband. There's always something wrong. There's always something wrong. Disease, or they have to go under an operation. Or if it's not that, it's drink. And he beats her. I'll have to come around again for someone. Every day I get up, there's some new thing. Well, God. Well, when I'm stretched out dead in my grave, I suppose I'll have some peace. I want to get, I want to get, up, get up, up a minute if I'm less. Wait. Oh, oh, Jesus, wait. Yes, that thing has yes, come, on, thing has come on me. Now. Yes, yes. Now, wouldn't, now, wouldn't that, that afflict you? Of course, of course all the poking and rooting and, and plowing he had up in me. Now, what now, am I to do? do? Friday, Friday Saturday, 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 Sunday. Sunday. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that pester, pester the soul out of the body? Unless he likes it. Some men do, God knows. There's always something wrong with us. Five days every three or four weeks. Usually one month reaction. Isn't it simply sick? Isn't it sick? That night it came on me like that. night it came on me like that. The one and only time we were in a box that Michael Gunn gave him to see Mrs. Kendall and her husband at the game. Something he did about insurance for him and Drimmies. I was fit to be tied, though. I wouldn't give in. With that gentleman of fashion staring down at me with his glasses. And him. The other, the other side of, side of me, talking, talking about Spinoza and his soul that's dead, I suppose, millions of years, years ago. ago. I smiled the best I could all in a swamp, leaning forward as if I was interested, having to sit it out then to the last tag. I won't forget that wife of Scarly in a hurry. Supposed, supposed to be a fast play about, about adultery. adultery. That idiot in the gallery hissing. The, the woman, woman adulteress, he shouted. I suppose he went and had a woman in the next lane running round all the back ways after to make up for it. I wish he had what I had. Then he'd boo. I bet the cat itself is better off than us. Have we too much blood up in us, or what? Oh, patience above, it's pouring out of me like the sea. Anyhow, he didn't make me pregnant as big as he is. I don't want to ruin the clean sheets we just saw. I, I suppose the clean linen and I wore brought on and on, too. too. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. And they always want, they always want, want to see a stain on the bed. You know, you're a virgin for them. All that's troubling them. They're such fools, They're such fools too. You could, be a, you could be a widow or divorced 40 times over. A daub of red ink would do or blackberry juice. No, that's too purpley. Oh, Jamesy, let me up out of this. Whoever suggested that business for women, what between clothes and cooking and children, this damned old bed too jingling like the Dickens. I suppose they could hear us away over the other side of the park, till I suggested to put the quilt on the floor with a pillow under my bottom. bottom. I wonder, is it nicer in the day? I think it is easy. I think it's easy. I think I'll cut all this hair off. I'll cut all this hair off. I might look like a young girl. Like a young girl. Wouldn't, he Wouldn't he get, get the great suck the next time he turned up my clothes on me? I'd give anything to see his face. Where's the chamber gone? Where's the chamber gone? I have a holy Easy, I have a holy I horror that's horror. breaking under me after that old mode. I wonder, was I too heavy sitting on his knee? I made him sit on the easy chair purposely when I took off only my blouse and skirt first in the other room. He was so busy, he was so busy where he oughtn't to be. He never felt me. I hope my breath was sweet after those easy outfits. I remember one time I could scout it out straight whistling like a man almost. Easy, how noisy. 
I hope there are bubbles on it for a wad of money from some fellow. I'll have to perfume it in the morning, don't forget. I bet he never saw a better pair of thighs than that. Look how white they are. Look how white they are. The smoothest place is right there, between this bit here. Soft like a peach. Soft like a peach. Easy God. I wouldn't mind being a man and get up on a lovely woman. Oh, Lord, what a row you're making like Jersey lilies. Easy. Easy, easy. Oh, how the water oh, has come the down, water's at come down at Lahore. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Is, there is there anything out of my sight? Or have, or have I something grown in me? Getting, 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 getting that thing, thing like that every week. When was it last time? Monday. Monday. Yes, Monday. Yes, it's only about three weeks. About three weeks. I had to go to the doctor, only it would be like before I married him. When I had that white thing coming from me, and Chloe made me go to that dry old stick Dr. Collins for women's diseases on Pembroke Pembroke Road. Your vagina, he called it. I suppose that's how he got all the gilt mirrors and carpets, getting around those rich ones off Stephen's Green, running up to him for every little fiddle faddle. Her vagina and her Cochin China. They've money, of course, so they're all right. I wouldn't marry him, not if he was the last man in the world. Besides, there's something queer about their children always smelling around those filthy bitches all sides, asking me if what I did had an offensive odor. What did he want me to do but the one thing? Gold, maybe. What a question. If I smathered it all over his wrinkly old face for him with all my compliments, I suppose he'd know then. And, and could you pass it easily? Pass what? Pass what? I thought he was talking about the Rock of Gibraltar, the way he put it. That's a very nice invention, too, by the way. Only I like letting myself down after the hole as far as I can squeeze and pull the chain and flush it. Nice cool nice pins, cool and, pins needles. and needles. Still, there's something in it, I suppose. I always used to know by Millie's when she was a child whether she had worms or not. Still, all the same, paying him for that. How much is that doctor? One guinea, please. And asking me had I frequent omissions. Where do those old fellows get all the words they have? Omissions with his short-sighted eyes on me Cocked sideways. I wouldn't trust, I wouldn't him, trust him too far. To give me chloroform, to give me chloroform God, knows God knows what else. Still, I liked him when he sat down to write the thing out. Frowning so severe, his nose intelligent like that. He'd be damned, you lying strap. Oh, anything. Oh, anything. No matter who, except an idiot. I was clever enough to spot that, of course. That was all, that was all thinking of him. And his mad, crazy letters. My precious one. Everything connected with your glorious body. Everything, Everything underlined, underlined that comes, comes from it is a thing of beauty and of joy forever. forever. Something he got out of some nonsensical book, book that he had me always at my cell four and five times, times a day sometimes. And I said, and I said, I said I added, are you, are you sure? sure? Oh, yes, yes I said. Sure I am quite sure in a way that shut him up. I knew what was, I knew what was coming next. Was coming next. Natural weakness Only natural was. weakness it was. He excited, he excited me. me. I don't know, I don't know how. how. The first the night, first night, night ever we met, when I was living in Rehoboth Terrace, we stood staring at one another for about ten minutes as if we met, we met somewhere. I suppose on account of my being Jewish-looking after my mother, he used to amuse me. The things he said with the half-slutherin' smile on him, and all the Doyles said he was going to stand for a member of parliament. Now wasn't I the born no, fool to believe all this blather all about all home blather rule about and the land and league, and sending me to that long stool of a song out of the Huguenots who sing in French to be more classy, au beau pays de la Touraine, that I never even sang once. Explaining and rigmaroling about religion and persecution, he won't let you enjoy anything naturally. Then might he as a great favor. The very first opportunity he got a chance in Brighton Square running into my bedroom, pretending the ink got on his hands to wash it off with the Albion and sulfur soap I used, and the gelatin still around it. Oh, I left myself sick at him that day. I'd better not I'd better make an all-night sitting, sitting on the sit air. They ought to make chambers a natural size so that a woman could sit on it properly. properly. He kneels, he kneels down, down to do it. Do it. I suppose there isn't in all creation another man with the habits he has. Look at the way he's sleeping at the foot of the bed. How can he without a hard bolster? It's well he doesn't care. He might knock out all my teeth. Breathing with his hand on his nose. Like that Indian god who took me to show one wet Sunday in the museum in Kildare Street. All yellow. yellow in a pinafore. Lying on his side on his hand with his ten toes sticking out. 
that he said was a bigger religion than the Jews and our lords both put together all over Asia, imitating him as he's always imitating everybody. I suppose he used to sleep at the foot of the bed, too, with his big square feet up in his wife's mouth. Damn this stinking thing, anyway. Where's this nest? Those napkins are? Oh, yes, yes, I know. I hope the old press doesn't creak. Oh, I knew it would. He's sleeping hard. Had a good time somewhere. Still, she must have given him great value for his money. Of course, he has to pay for it from her. I hope we'll have something better for us in the other world. Tying ourselves up. God help us. That's all right for tonight. Now the lumpy old jiggly bed always reminds me of old Cohen. I suppose he scratched himself in it often enough. And he thinks father bought it from Lord Napier that I used to admire when I was a little girl because I told him easy piano. Oh, I like my bed. God. Here we are as bad as ever after 16 years. How many houses were we in at all? Raymond Terrace. Raymond Terrace in Ontario Terrace. Lombard Holly Street. Hollis Street. And he goes about whistling every time we get run again. His human eyes are the frogs, 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 frogs march, pretending, pretending to have the men with the four sticks of furniture. And, and the city arms hotel. And then the city arms, arms hotel. hotel. Worse, and worse and worse, says, says Warden Daly. The charm charm is the landing. Always somebody inside praying, then leaving all their stinks after them. Always, always know who is in there last. Every time we're just getting on right, something happens. Or he, or he puts his big foot in it. Tom's and Helly's and Mr. Cuff's and Drimmy's. Either he's going to be run into, run into prison over his old lottery tickets that was to be all our salvations, or he goes and gives impudence. We'll have him coming home with the sack soon, out of the Freeman, too, like the rest, on account of those sin of fame or the Freemasons. Then we'll see the old man in the shade dribbling along in the wet, all by himself round by Cody's lane. We'll give him much consolation. But he says he's so capable and sincerely Irish. He is indeed, judging by the sincerity of the trousers I saw on him. Wait, there's George's church bells. Wait, three quarters, the hour, wait, one, two o'clock. Wait, two o'clock? Wow. Well, that's a nice that's hour of the night for him to be coming home oh, back to anybody, to anybody around, around down the area. If anybody saw him, I'll knock him off that little habit tomorrow. First, I'll look at his shirt to see. Or I'll see if he has that French letter still in his pocketbook. I suppose he thinks I don't know deceitful men. All their twenty pockets aren't enough for their lies. Then why should we tell them? Even if it's the truth, they don't believe you. Then, then tucked up in bed like his babies in the aristocrat's masterpiece he brought me another time. Brought me another time. As if we as had if we enough had of that in real life without that some real life. Life. Whatever, 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 whatever his name was disgusting you more with those rotten, rotten, rotten pictures. pictures. Children, Children with children. two heads and no legs. legs. That's the kind of villainy they're always dreaming about, with not another thing in their empty heads. They ought to get slow poison in half of them. Then tea and toast for him, buttered on both sides and new laid eggs. I suppose I'm nothing anymore. When I wouldn't let him lick me in Hollow Street one night. Man, man, tyrant as ever. For the one thing, he slept on the floor half the night, naked, the way the Jews used when somebody dies belonged to them, and wouldn't eat any breakfast or speak a word wanting to be petted. So I thought I stood out enough for one time and let him. He does it all wrong, too, thinking only of his own pleasure. His tongue is too flat. I don't know why. He forgets that when I don't. I'll make him do it again if he doesn't mind himself, and lock him down to sleep in the coal cellar with the black beetles. I wonder, was it hurt for Josie? Off her head with my cast-offs. He's such a born liar, too. No, he'd no, he never, never have the courage with a married woman. woman. That's why he wants me and Boylan. Though, as for her Though Dennis, as she calls, Dennis, as she calls him, Lauren that forlorn-looking spectacle, spectacle, you couldn't, couldn't call, call him a husband. husband. Yes, it's some, some little bitch he's got in with. Even, even when I was with him, him with, with Millie and the college races, that horn blow with the child on the top of the knob, let us in by the back back way. He was throwing his sheep's eyes at those eyes at those two. Doing skirt duty, duty up and down. down. I tried to, I tried wink, to wink at him wink first. 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 No, no use, of course. 
And that's the way his money goes. This is the fruits of Mr. Patty Dignam. Great style at the grand funeral in the paper Boylan brought in. If they saw a real officer's funeral, that'd be something. Reversed arms, muffled drums, the poor, the poor horse walking behind in black. black. El Boom and Tom Kernan, that drunken little barely man that bit his tongue off falling down the men's WC, drunk in some place or other. And Martin Cunningham and the two Daedaluses and Fanny McCoy's husband, white head of cabbage, skinny thing with a turn in her eye, trying to sing my songs. She wanted to be born all over again, and her old green dress with the low neck, as she can't attract them any other way. Like dabbling on a rainy day. I see it all now plainly, and they call that friendship. Killing, killing and then burying one another. And they, and they all with their, their wives and families at home more. Especially Jack Power, Power keeping a barmaid he does. Of course, course his wife is always sick or going to be sick or just getting better of it. And he's a good-looking man still, though he's getting a bit gray over the years. They're a nice lot, all of them. Well, they're not going to get my husband again into their clutches if I can help it. Making fun of him then behind his back, I know well. When he goes on with his idiotics, because, because he has sense, sense enough not to squander every penny piece he earns down their gullets, and looks after his wife and family. Good for nothing. Poor Patty Dignam. All the same. All the same. I'm sorry in a way for him. What are his wife and five children going to do? Unless he was insured. Comical little teetotum. Always stuck up in some pub corner, and her or her son waiting. Bill Bailey, won't you please come home? Her widow's weeds won't improve her appearance. They're awfully becoming, though, if you're good looking. What man? What man? Wasn't he? Wasn't he? Yes, he was at the Glen Cree dinner in Ben Dollard Bass Barrel Tone. The night he borrowed Swallowtail to sing out of in Hollis Street, squeezed and squashed, and squashed into, into them, them, and grinning all over his big dolly face like a well-whipped child's body. Didn't he look a bomb of bollocks? Sure enough, that must have been a spectacle on the stage. Imagine paying five in the preserved seats for that. To see, to see him, him trotting off, off in his trousers, and Simon Taylor, too, he was, he was always turning on half screwed, screwed, singing the second verse first. The old, the old love, love is the new is one of his. his. So, so, so sweetly sang, sang the maiden on the hawthorn bough. He, he was always on for flirtifying, too, when I sang Mary Tana with him at Freddie Mayer's private opera. He had a delicious, glorious voice. Phoebe, dearest, goodbye, sweetheart. Sweetheart, he always sang it. Not, Not like Bartle Darcy's sweet tart goodbye. goodbye. Of, course, of course, he had the gift of the voice, so there was no, there was no art, art in it. All over, all over you, like a warm shower bath. bath. Oh, Mary Tana, wildwood flower, we sang splendidly. Though it was a bit too high for my register, register even transpose. transpose. And he was married at the time to Meg Goulding. But then he'd say or do something to knock the good out of it. He's a widower, He's a widower now. I wonder what, what sort of his son. son. He says he's, he says he's an, an author and going to be a university professor, professor of Italian. Italian. And I'm to take, and I'm take lessons. lessons. What is he driving at now? Showing, showing him, him my photo. photo. It's, not it's not good of me. I ought to have got, to have got it taken in. in. Drapery, Drapery that never looks out of fashion. Still, Still I look I young in it. I wonder if he didn't make him a present of it altogether. And me, too, after all. Why not? I saw, I saw him driving down to the Kingsbridge, Kingsbridge Station with his father and mother. And mother. I, was I was in mourning. That's, that's, that's 11, 11 years, years ago now. Years ago now. Yes, he'd yes, he'd be 11. Yes, he'd be 11. Though, what was the good, though, was the good, was the good in going into mourning for what was neither one thing nor the other? One thing nor the, other. The, the, first the first cry was enough for me. I heard the death watch, too, ticking off in the wall. Of course, of course, he insisted. He'd go into mourning. He'd go into mourning for the cat. I suppose. I suppose he's a man now by this time. He's a man now by this time. He was an innocent, he was an innocent boy then, boy then and, and a darling little fellow in his Lord Fauntleroy suit and curly hair like a prince on the stage when I saw him at Matt Dillon's. He liked me too, I remember. They all do. Wait, by wait. God. I got it. Yes, wait. Yes, yes. yes. hold wait. on. Oh, yes, hold on. The cards this morning when I laid out the deck. You knew the young stranger neither dark nor fair you met before. Neither dark nor fair you met before. But he's no chicken nor a stranger either. But he's no chicken nor a stranger. Besides, my face was turned the other way. 
away. Besides my face, what was the seventh card after that? What was the seventh card? Ten of spades for a journey by land. Then land. there was a letter on its way. And 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 scandals too. And scandals too. Three queens, three queens, and the eight, eight, and eight, eight diamonds for a rise in society. Rise in society. Yes, wait, all came out. Yes, wait, it all and came out. And two red, two red eights, eights for new garments. garments. Look at that. And didn't I dream something too? Yes, there was something about poetry in it. I hope he has a long grey hair hanging into his eyes. Or standing up in red Indian. Red Indian. What do, what do they, they go about, go about, about like, like that for? That for? Only getting, Only getting his own poetry, 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 poetry laughed, laughed at. I was I like, like poetry when I was a girl. girl. First, First I thought he was a poet like Lord Byron, and not, not an ounce of it in his composition. composition. I thought, I thought he, was he was quite different. different. I wonder is he too young? He's about 88. I was married 88. Millie is 15 yesterday, yesterday 89. What age was he then, Dylan? Five or six. About 88. I suppose he's 20, I suppose or, he's 20, or, more. 20 or more. I'm not too I'm old. Not too I'm not too old. old. If he's 23 or 24. I suppose not that stuck, stuck on the verses of students, Lord. No, no otherwise, otherwise he wouldn't go sitting, sitting down in the old kitchen, kitchen with him. Taking Epps' cocoa, cocoa and talking. Of course, of course he, he pretended to understand it all. Probably he told him he was out of Trinity College. He's very young to be a professor. I hope he's not a professor as Goodwin was. He was a potent professor, professor of John Jameson. They all, they all write, write about some, some women in their poetry. poetry. Well, I suppose, well, I suppose you won't find many, find many, many like me. me. Where softly sighs of love. The light guitar, where poetry is in the air, the blue sea and the moon shining so beautifully, coming back on the night boat from Tarifa. The lighthouse at Europa Point, the guitar that fellow played was so expressive. Will I ever go back there again? All new faces. Two glancing, Two glancing eyes, eyes, a lattice eyes, head. A lattice I'll sing that for him. There are my eyes as he's anything of a poet. Two eyes, Two eyes as darkly bright as love's own star. Aren't those, Aren't those beautiful words? As love's young star. It'll, It'll be a change, change the Lord knows to have an intelligent, an intelligent person to talk to about yourself. Not always listening to him and Billy Prescott's ad and Keyes' ad and Tom the Devil's ad. Then if anything goes wrong in their business, we have to suffer. Suffer. I'm sure he's very distinguished. I'd like to meet a man like that. God, not those other ruck. Besides, he's young. Those fine young men I can see down in Mark Strand bathing place from the side of the rock. Standing up in the sun naked like a god or something. And then plunging into the sea with them. Why aren't all men like that? There'd be some consolation for a woman. Like that, that lovely, lovely little statue he bought. I could, I could look at him all day long. Curly head and his shoulders. His finger, his finger up for you to listen. listen. There's fair beauty, beauty and real poetry, poetry for you. For you. I, I actually felt that I wanted, wanted to kiss him, kiss him all over. over. Also, his also, lovely young cock. They're so simple. I wouldn't mind taking him in my mouth and nobody else was looking. As if it was asking, asking me to suck it. So clean, so clean and white he looks with his boyish face. I would, too, I would, I would too, too, in half a minute. Even if some of it, even even if some of it went down. down. What? what? It's, only it's only like gruel or the dew. There's, there's no, no danger. danger. Besides, he'd be so clean compared to those hideous men. men. I, men. I suppose never, never dreamed of washing one year's end to one year's end. Most of them. Most of them only. That's what gives the women the mustaches, I'm sure. Sure. It'll, It'll be grand, grand if I can only get in with a handsome young poet at my age. I'll throw them the first thing in the morning until I see if the wish card comes out. Or I'll try, or I'll try pairing the lady yourself and see if it comes out. I'll read and study all I can find. Or learn a bit off by heart. If I knew what he likes, so he won't think me stupid. If he thinks all women are the same, I can teach him the other part. I'll make him feel all, all over me until the half faints, half faints under me. Then he'll then write, write about me. Lover, lover and, mistress. and mistress, publicly, publicly too, with our two with photographs of all the papers, papers when, when he becomes famous. Oh, but then, but then, what, but then what am I going to do about him, him though? No, no, that's no, that's way. no, that's way, no way for him. Has he no manners? Has he no manners? Nor no refinement? Nor no his nature? nature? Slapping, Slapping us behind like, like that on my bottom because I didn't call him Hugh the ignoramus that doesn't know poetry from a cabbage. From a cabbage. That's what you get. That's what you get for not keeping them in their proper place. Pulling off his shoes and trousers there on the chair before me, so barefaced without even asking permission, and standing out that vulgar way in half of a shirt they wear to be admired. Like, like a priest or a butcher or those old hypocrites in the time of Julius Caesar. Caesar. 
Of course he's right right enough in his way to pass the time as a joke. Sure. You might as well be in bed with what? With a lion. Gosh, I'm sure he'd have something better to say for himself. An old lion would. Well, I suppose it's because they are so plump and tempting in my short petticoat. He couldn't resist. They excite myself sometimes. It's well for men all the amount of pleasure they get off pleasure's body. We're so round and white for them always. I wish I was one myself for a change. I wish I was one myself for a change. Just to be With that thing they have swelling up on you, so hard and at the same time so soft when you touch it. My uncle's challenge is a thing long. I heard those corner boys saying, passing the corner of Maribow and Lane. My Aunt Mary has a thing hair because it was dark and they knew a girl was passing. Make me blush. Didn't make me Why blush. Should Why should I either? It's only nature. It's only nature. And he puts his and thing puts long into my Aunt Mary's hair, etc. Et and turns out to be turns you put the handle on a sweeping brush. Men again. All men again, all over. They can pick and choose, but they marry a woman, a married woman, or a fast widow, or a girl for their different tastes, like those houses round behind Irish Street. No, but we're to be always chained up. They're not going to be chaining me up. No damn fear. Once I start, I tell you. I tell you. For their stupid. Their stupid husband's jealousy. Why can't we all remain friends over it instead of quarreling? Her husband found it out, what they did together. Well, naturally. And if he did, can he undo it? He's Coronado anyway, whatever he does. And then he going to the other mad extreme about the wife and fair tyrants. Of course, the man never even gives a second, second thought on the husband, husband or wife either. It's, it's the, the woman, woman he wants, and he gets her. What else, what else were we given all those, all those desires, desires for? for? I'd, like to know. I'd like to know. I can't help it if I'm young still, can I? It's a wonder I'm not, wonder I'm not an old shriveled hag before my time. Living with him. him. So cold. Never embracing me. Except sometimes when he's asleep, the wrong end of me, not knowing, not knowing I, suppose, I suppose, who he has. Any man any that can kiss the bottom of my throat might throw my hat at him. After, After that, he'd kiss anything man. unnatural. Where we haven't one atom of any kind of expression in us. All of us, the same two lumps of lard. Before, before ever I do that to a man. <sighs> the dirty brutes. The mere thought is enough. I kiss, I kiss the feet, feet of you, of you Senorita. Senorita. There's some, There's some, some sense, sense in that. that. Didn't he kiss our hall door? door? Yes, he did. What a madman. Mad 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 Nobody, Nobody understands his cracked ideas but me. Still, of course, I want to see him raised 20 times a day almost to make her look young. No matter by who. So long as to be loved or loved by somebody. If the fellow who you want isn't there, sometimes, by the Lord God, I was thinking... I was thinking, would I go around by the quays there some dark evening, where nobody would know me, and pick up a sailor off the sea that would be hot on for it, and not care a pin whose I was, only do it off up in a gate somewhere, or one of those wild-looking gypsies in the farm, had their camp pitched near the Bloomfield Laundry to try and things if they could. I only sent mine there a few times for the name. Model laundry, sending me back over and over some old ones, odd stockings. That blacker looking fellow with the fine eyes peeling a switch, attack me in the dark and ride me up against the wall without a word. Or a murderer. Anybody. What they do themselves. The fine gentlemen in their silk hats. That KC lives up somewhere this way. Coming out of Hard Lane. The night he gave us the fish supper on account of winning over the boxing match. Of course, it was for me he gave it. I knew you by the skaters and the walks. And when I turned round a minute after just to see, there was a woman after coming out of it too. Some filthy prostitute. Then he goes home to his wife after that. Only I suppose the half of those sailors are rotten again with disease. Oh, move oh, over your big carcass, carcass out of that. Listen to the love of Mike. Listen to him. The winds, the winds, winds that waft my, my side to thee. So well, so well may sleep, sleep and sigh. Don the Poldo great de suggester Flora. Don Poldo de la Flora. If he knew how he came out on the cards this morning, he'd have something to sigh for.
a dark man in some complexity. Between two sevens, too. In prison for Lord knows what he does that I don't know. And I'm to be sneaking around down in the kitchen to get his lordship his breakfast while he's rolled up his body. Will I indeed? Did you ever see me running? running? I just like to see myself Show them attention. Show them attention and they treat you like dirt. I don't care what anybody says. It would be much better for the world to be governed by the women in it. You wouldn't see women going and killing one another and slaughtering. Wouldn't you ever, you ever see women rolling around drunk like they do? But gambling every penny they have and losing it on horses. Because a woman, whatever she does, she knows where to stop. Sure, they wouldn't be in the world at all for us. They don't know what it is to be a woman and a mother. How could they? Could they? Where would they all of them be if they hadn't all a mother to look after? What I never had. That's why I suppose he's running wild now. Out at night, away from his books and studies, and not living at home. On account, on account of the usual rowy house, I suppose. Well, it's a poor case that those that have a fine son like that, they're not satisfied. And I know. I none. Was he not able to make one? It wasn't was my fault. We came, we came together when I was watching the two dogs up in her behind in the middle of the naked street. The naked street that disheartened me altogether. I suppose I ought to have buried him in that little woolly jacket I knitted, crying as I was. But give it to some poor child. But I knew well I never had another. Our never had another. Our first death, too, it was. We were never the same since. Oh, I'm not going to think myself into the glooms about that anymore. I wonder why he wouldn't stay the night. I felt all the time it was somebody strange he brought in. Instead of roving around the city, meeting God knows who, night walkers and pickpockets. His mother would have liked that if she was alive. Ruining himself for life, perhaps. Still, it's a lovely hour. So silent. I used, I used to love coming home after dances, the air of the night. The air of the night. They have friends, they have they have talk friends they can talk to, talk to. Not. none. Either he wants what he won't get, or it's some woman ready to stick her knife in you. I hate that in women. No wonder they treat us the way they do. We are a dreadful lot of bitches. I suppose it's all the troubles we have makes us so snappy. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. He could, he could easy have slept him there on the sofa in the other room. I suppose, I suppose he was as shy as a boy, so he being so he young, hardly young. twenty, but me in the next room. Me in the next room. Yeah. He'd have heard me in the chamber. Me on the chamber. Uh, what harm did what harm it? What harm did Harm Davis, Davis, I wonder. It's like those names, like those names in Gibraltar. Gibraltar. De La Paz, De La Gracia. They, they had the, the devil's, devil's queer names there. there. Father Villaplana of Santa Maria that gave me the rosary. Rosales y O'Reilly in the Calle Las Siete Revueltas and Pisimbo and Mrs. Piso in Governor Street. Oh, what a name. I'd go, I'd go and drown myself, myself in the first river, river I had to make her. her. Oh, oh my, and all the big streets, Paradise Ramp, Bedlam Ramp, Rogers Ramp, Crutchet's Ramp, and the Devil's, the devil's Gap Steps. steps. Well, small blame to me, small blame to me, I am scared. I know I am a bit. I declare to God I don't feel a day older than then. I wonder, could I get my tongue round any of this stand? Como esta usted? Mi buen gracias, y usted? Y usted? <laughs> See, I haven't forgotten at all. I thought I had. Only for the grammar. A noun is the name of any person, place, or thing. Pity I never tried to read that novel, Cantankerous Mrs. Rubio, led me by Valera. With the questions in it all upside down. The two ways I always knew we'd go away in the end. I can tell him the Spanish, and he tell me the Italian. Then he'll, then then he'll, he'll see, see I'm not so ignorant. ignorant. What a what pity he didn't stay. stay. I'm, I'm sure, sure the poor fellow was dead tired and wanted a good sleep badly. I could have brought him in his breakfast in bed with a bit of toast. So long as I didn't do it on the night for bad luck. Or if the woman was going her rounds with the watercress and something nice and tasty. For a few olives in the kitchen he might like. I never, I never, I never could, could bear the look of them in a brinace. I could do the criada. The room looks all right since I changed it the other way. You see, something, you see, something was telling me all the time I'd have to introduce myself, not knowing me from Adam. 
Very funny, wouldn't it? And his wife. Or pretend, or pretend we were in Spain with him half awake without a god's notion where he is. Dos huevos estrellados, senor. Lord, the crack things come into my head sometimes. It'd be great fun. Supposing he stayed with us. Why not? There's the room upstairs empty. And Millie's bed in the back room. He could do his writing and studies at the table in there. For all the scribbling, he does at it. And if he wants to read in bed in the morning like me... As he's, As he's making breakfast for one, he can make it for two, I'm sure. I'm not going to take, take any lodgers off the street for him. If he takes a cassava of a house like this, I'd love to have a long talk with an intelligent, well-educated person. I'd have to get a nice pair of red slippers. I'd have to get a nice pair of red slippers, like those Turks with the Fez used to sell. Or yellow. And a nice semi-transparent gown with a battery wand. Or a peach blossom dressing jacket, like the one long ago in Walpole. Only eight six. Or 18 I'll, just I'll, just I'll just give, give him, him one, one more chance. chance. I'll, I'll get, get up early, early in the morning. I'm, I'm so sick, sick of Cohen's old bed in any case. I might go over to Mars Mars to see all the vegetables and cabbages and tomatoes and carrots and all kinds of splendid fruits. All coming in lovely and fresh. Who knows who'd be the first man I'd meet? They're out looking for it in the morning. Mammy Dillon used to say they are. And the night, too. That was her mask going. I'd love a big, love juicy big, pear juicy now to melt in your mouth, mouth. Like, like when I used to be in the longing way. Long way. Then, then I'll throw him up his eggs and tea and the mustache cup she gave him to make his mouth bigger. I suppose he'd like my nice cream, too. I know what I'll do. I'll go about rather gay. Not too much sex, a bit now and then. Me fa pied the mustache. Then I'll start dressing myself to go out. Pris, non non sun pio forte. I'll put, put on my best shift in drawers. Let him have a good eyeful of that, that, that to make Sandy stand, stand, stand for him. I'll let him know, let him know that's, that's what he wanted. That his, his wife is fucked. Too. Yes, yes, and yes, damn well, damn well, fucked too. Up to my up neck, to my nearly neck. not by him. Five or six times hand running. There's the mark of his spunk on the clean sheet. I wouldn't let him iron it out. That ought to satisfy him. If you don't believe me, feel my belly. Unless, Unless I made, I made him, him stand, stand there and put him into me. Put him in. I have a mind to tell him every scrap and make him do it out in front and make him do it out in front of me. Serve him right. It's all his own. It's all his own fault if I'm an adulteress, as the thing in the gallows. Oh, much about it. That's harm. Harm. Everything. A veil of tears. God knows it's not much. Doesn't everybody? Only they hide it. I suppose that's what a woman is supposed to be there for. Or he wouldn't have made us, the way, he have made us the way he did. So attractive to men. Then if he wants to kiss my bottom, I'll drag it to my drawers and bulge it right down in his face, as large as life. life. He can stick, he can his, stick his tongue seven, seven miles up my hole as he's there, there my brown, brown, brown part. Then I'll tell him I want one pound, or perhaps thirty. I'll tell him I want to buy underclothes. Then if he gives me that, well, he won't be too bad. I don't want to soak it all out of him like other women do. I could often have written out a fine check for myself and write his name on it for a couple of pounds. A few times he's got to lock it up. Besides, he won't spend it. I'll let him do it off on me, behind, provided he doesn't smear all my good drawers. Oh, I suppose that can't be helped. I'll do the indifferent one or two questions. I'll know by the answers. When he's like that, he can't keep a thing back. I know every turn in him. I'll tighten my bottom well and let out a few smutty words. Smell romper, lick my shit, or the first mad thing comes into my head. Then I'll suggest about... Yes. Oh, wait, now, Sonny, my turn is coming. I'll be quite gay and friendly over it. Oh, but I was forgetting this bloody pest of a thing. <laughs> you wouldn't know which to laugh or cry for such a mixture of plum and apple. No, I'll have to wear the old things. So much the better, it'll be more pointed. He'll never know whether he did it or not. There, that's good enough for you, any old thing at all. Then I'll wipe him off me, just like a business, his omission. Then I'll go out. I'll have him eyeing up at the ceiling. Where is she gone now? Make him want me. That's the only way. A quarter after? What an unearthly hour. I suppose they're just getting up in China now, combing out their pigtails for the day. We'll soon have the nuns ringing the angels. 
they're sleeping. There's nobody really coming in to come in to sleep there except an odd priest or two who cruise in his office. Or the alarm clock next door at Cock Shed. Clad when the brain rings out of itself. Let me see if I can doze off. One, one, two, two, three, four, four, five. What kind of flowers are those they invented like the stars? The wallpaper, the wallpaper in Lombard Street, Street was much nicer. The apron he gave me was, gave me was like, like that something. Only I only wore it twice. Better lower the lamp and try again. I just let him get up early. I'll go to Lamb's then. Go to Lamb's then. Get them to send us some flowers. What about the flowers? In case he brings them home tomorrow. Today, today. No. No. No Friday's an unlucky day. First I, want to First I want to do the place up some way. The dust grows in it, I think, while I'm asleep. Then we can have music and cigarettes. I can accompany him. First I must clean the keys of the piano with milk. What will I wear? Shall I wear a white rose? Or those fairy cakes, cakes and Lipton's? I love the smell of a rich big shop. It's seven and a half D a pound. Or the other, or the other ones with the cherries in them and the pinky sugar. Couple Eleven pounds of those. A couple of pounds, couple of, pounds, pounds of, those. of those. A nice plant for a nice the middle of the table. Of the table. I'd, I'd get, get that, that cheaper in. Wait, wait, where's this? Where's this? this? I, saw I, saw them them I love, love flowers. flowers. I'd love to have the whole place swimming in roses. roses. God of heaven, there's nothing like nature. The wild, wild mountains, mountains, then the sea, and, and the waves rushing. Then the beautiful, then the beautiful country, country with the fields of oats and, and wheat and all kinds of things. And all the fine cattle, cattle, going, cattle about. going about. That would, that that would, would do your heart good, good to see rivers, rivers and lakes and, lakes and flowers. flowers. All, all sorts, sorts of shapes and smells and colors spring springing up. up. Even, Even out of the ditches. ditches primroses, primroses and violets. violets. Nature, Nature it is. That's what I'm saying. There's no God. I wouldn't give a snap of my two fingers for all their learning. Why don't they go and create something? I often asked him, atheists or whatever they call themselves, go and wash the cows off themselves first. first. Then they go then howling for the priest, the priest and they die. die. And why? Why? Because they're, because they're afraid of hell on account of their bad conscience. <laughs> ah, yes, I know them well. Who was the first person in the universe before there was anybody? That made it all? Made it all? Who? Who? Ah, that they don't know. Neither do I, so there you are. They might as well try to stop the sun from rising tomorrow. The sun shines for you, he said, the day we were lying among the rhododendrons on Half Head. And the great tweed suit in his straw hat. The day I got him to propose to me. Yes. First I gave him a bit of seed cake out of my mouth. And it was leap year like now. Yes. Sixteen, Sixteen years ago. ago. My God. My God. After, after that long, after that kiss, long kiss, I, I near lost my breath. Yes, yes he, said. he said. I was a flower of the mountain. Flower of the mountain. Yes. yes, so, so we, we are flowers, flowers all, flowers, a woman's body. all a woman's body. Yes, that was, yes. One, yes, that was, that was one, one true thing, thing he said in his life. And the sun shines, and the sun shines for, you. for you today. Yes, that's why I liked him. Yes. That was why I liked him. Because I saw he understood or felt what a woman is. And I knew I could always get him. And I knew I could always get him. And I gave him all the pleasure I could. Leading him on till he asked me to say yes. And I wouldn't answer first. And I wouldn't answer Only looked out over the sea and the sky. I was thinking of something many things. things. He, didn't he didn't know, know of Mulvey and Mr. Stanhope and Hester and Father and old Captain and old Groves and the sailors playing all birds fly and, and I say stoop and, and, stoop and, and washing up washing dishes, dishes they called it on the pier. The pier. And the, the sentry in front of the governor's house, house with the thing around his white, white helmet. helmet. Poor devil, Poor devil half roasted. roasted. And, 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 and the Spanish girls laughing in their shawls and their tall combs. And the options in the morning. The Greeks, the Greeks and the Jews, Jews and the Arabs, Arabs and the devil knows who else, else. From, from all the ends of Europe, of Europe. And, Duke and Duke Street and the foul and the foul market all plucking outside barber and, 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 and the poor doctors sleeping half asleep, half asleep. and the vague fellows in the cloaks asleep in the shade on the steps and the big wheels of the carts of the bulls and the old cows are thousands of years old. Yes, and those handsome moors, all, all, all in white and turbans like kings, like kings. As asking you to sit down in a little, little bit of a shop and round up at the old the windows of the Posadas. Two glancing eyes at last hid for her lover to kiss. The iron and wine shops half open at night, and the castanets. And then at night we miss the bow of Algeciras, the watchman going about serene with his lamp, and oh, that awful down torrent. Oh, and the sea, 
The, the sea crimsons crimson sometimes like fire, and the, the glorious, glorious sunsets, sunsets, and, and, and the, the fig, fig trees in the Almeida gardens. gardens. Yes, yes. And, all the, and all the queer, queer little streets, streets, and the, and the pink, pink and blue and, blue and yellow houses, houses, and the rose gardens, and the jessamine and geraniums and cactuses. And Gibraltar is a girl, girl where I was the flower, flower of the mountain. mountain. Yes, yes. yes. I put the rose in my hair like the Andalusian girls use. use. Or shall or I wear, wear red? red? Yes. yes. And how he kissed me on the wall. And I thought, and I and thought, I thought well, well, as well him as another. As well him as another. And, and then I asked him with my eyes to ask again. Yes. And then he asked me, would I? Would I? Yes. To say, yes, my mountain flower. And first, first I put my arms around him, yes. 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 and drew, yes. drew, drew, drew down, down to me so he could feel my breasts all perfume. Yes, yes. yes. his heart was going like, like, like mad, yes. and yes, yes. I yes. said yes, I will. Yes. 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 End of chapter 18, end of Ulysses.